Now crochet rounds three through seven following the stitch tips in the upper right corner. Two eyes need to be fitted before you start. Then crochet a SLSD in the 10th V position from left to right. Now start crocheting the third round. Start by crocheting 3 CH stitches. When all is done now you need to learn the jujube stitch. We usually call this stitch JS for short. It is a combination of 3 unfinished HDC stitches and a CH stitch. First hook the yarn with the crochet hook. Then pass the crochet hook through the V and hook up the yarn that is resting on your index finger. There are now three loops on the crochet hook. This step needs to be repeated a total of three times. There will be seven loops on the crochet hook when you are done. These seven loops are then crocheted from the yarn on the index finger. You can keep twisting the crochet hook in the process of hooking out the seven loops like in the video, it will be easier to hook out. Finally, crochet one more CH stitch to hold the yarn in place. This completes one JS stitch. Then you need to crochet a total of nine JS stitches according to the stitch guide in the upper right corner.
once you have completed them all, you now need to learn the jujube stitch tog. We usually refer to this stitch as JST for short. It is a combination of six unfinished HDC stitches and one CH stitch. The yarn is first hooked with a crochet hook, then pass the crochet hook through the V and hook out the yarn that is resting on the index finger. There are now three loops on the crochet hook. Repeat this step three times. When you are finished, you will have seven loops on the crochet hook. Then hook the yarn with the crochet hook and thread it through the next V and hook out the yarn that is resting on your index finger. Repeat the crochet three times in this V position as well. There will be 13 loops on the crochet hook when you are finished. Then crochet these 13 loops from the yarn on your index finger. Finally, crochet one more CH stitch to hold the yarn in place. This completes one JST stitch. Now continue with the rest of the third loop.
Note that the last SLSD stitch from the third to the seventh round is crocheted at the third CH stitch. Now begin to crochet the fourth round. Note that the first JS stitch in this round is crocheted at the left side of the three CH stitches in the third round.
Note that the last JS stitch of the round is crocheted in the right-hand side of the 3CH stitches of the third round. The same crochet method is used for the next 5 to 7 loops. Now start crocheting the fifth round.
Now start crocheting the sixth round.
Now start crocheting the seventh round.
When finished, you will need to pinch the openings of the piece together to pass through two V-shapes at once and then crochet 18 SC stitches. After 8 SC stitches, you need to fill with cotton. Finally, crochet one more CH stitch to hold the yarn in place. 